It's me again, Brian at Beaver Corporation. I'm the guy that runs Beaver Corporation. Scott's the big boss, and like I said before, I'm the Darth Vader to his emperor. Right. And here we are at our booth, and here's Todd. I get to join in to Beaver this You guys time. know Todd probably more than you know me, but <laughs> here we are. And we're gonna just take a quick blitzkrieg through our booth and see all kinds of cool stuff, starting with, oh my gosh, what's this? We got a huge model up here of uh, the Lancaster coming from HK Models. This has been announced for quite a while. It has indeed, hasn't yeah. it? And now it's uh, about to be released. We're hoping next month uh, they finally finish doing all the detail. Uh, it took them a while to figure out the, all the rivet patterns and stuff on the top there. Uh, but this is, as you can see, just a massive, massive kit in 132 scale. It looks nicely detailed like that B-17. If you guys aren't familiar, they also did the B-25 and the yep. B-17 in 130 second yep. scales. So, yep. so check those out. I believe the 17 is also on reorder. They're coming out with a re-release re or re-edition. Yeah, well, we got, it. we got it on the shelf here, B-17G. And then we also got the F. And you can see some, we're not, I haven't got a straight answer whether it's going to come with clear parts or not. I think this is basically just to show off the interior for display purposes. But um, uh, I keep telling them, go ahead and do it. That would be a cool, like special edition, maybe. Yeah. All right. Well, let's stop over here and look at uh, some stuff from our buddies at Panda and Kitty Hawk, same company, but Panda is their military, Kitty Hawk is their aviation stuff. And we got this is coming soon. We don't know a price or when it's coming yet, but soon, uh, an MH60L Black Hawk. All the PE parts are going to come with it. Uh, it's got some figures. I'm not sure if the figures are going to be part of the kit or a separate set or not, but it's all part of here. Uh, we got the Act 30. This should be in stock uh, this month, I think. Um, and this is coming up, FJ2 Fury. People have been uh, asking for uh, a new tool, Fury, for a while, even though I think Hobby Boss? Hobby Boss has some Furies? Oh, okay. Hobby Boss, or, no, not Bronco. Hobby yeah. Boss, yeah. If you guys out there think it looks familiar, that's because in the Air Force it's the F 86 Sabre. Yeah. But yeah. for the Navy, it's FJ2. Yeah, a little it's bit different, totally though. They changed the part, yeah. some parts to make it for the Navy. And we got some, this is coming, this should be in stock this month, the M8 Armored Gun System. Um, this is another more recent release. This is on sale now. The M I M uh, M1 IP Abrams, one of the early Abramses. Uh, more stuff that's uh, currently under development is the Book, the missile system, and this is going to be a Striker, Striker Dragoon, Ooh. which is uh, still not even fielded yet, I don't think, by the American military. Uh, another new kit from Kitty Hawk that's just on its way out is uh, the F5F two-seater Tiger II. That's going to come with resin figures, as you can see here. That's a bit bigger than I was expecting. Yeah, F5, yeah, it's in what's 132. Same, so yeah. yeah, it's pretty big. Going to be on sale this month. Now, so those are, yes, yes. I was going to say, now moving on to the next manufacturer. Now, this mm. one looks quite interesting to me. Yes, full interior. We've had a, you know, if, if you guys are into military modeling, you know, there's been a lot of Panthers recently. Right. And Ryefield's been, uh, you know, leading the charge with some of their full interior kits, as you can see here, this exploded one. But yeah, what's cool about this one, though, is you got that cutaway body. Like, it's yes. actually pre cut away, molded that way. Yep. So yep. you can see the insides of the kit. So you don't have to go with like, a hot knife and try to That's right. ruin a hole. Cleanly does it come cut. with both holes? It like, does. It okay, does. so you have a choice. That's kind of yep. cool. I yep, wonder if you can easily swap the well, hole there. That's not going to be possible, is it? <laughs> Uh, you probably many, can't swap out later. Too many parts but, glued on. Yeah, so that's uh, that's coming. Uh, oh, we don't know, but it's coming very very soon. The G, it's a Gigata as well. Now this is uh, just coming into stock in the next couple of days. This is the T34 122. Uh, it was modified by the Egyptian Army, uh, World War II vintage T34 tank. Nice. Uh, they chopped up the turret, added on a lot of. Um, it's not sheet metal, but uh, the armor at the top there, and 122 millimeter. Originally uh, used by the Russians. Yeah. If you yeah, guys aren't yeah. too familiar. What's the deal with that Volkswagen in the back? There? Oh yeah, yeah. Forgot about that. That's coming in uh, in November. It's a Type 82. Is that mm -hmm. full interior? Uh, well, it's yeah, pretty much. Does it have engine? I don't see engine parts in there. Yeah, you can yes. see it. Okay. It has it on oh the yeah, right there. Yeah, there, absolutely. So. Good eye. Good eye. Quite interesting. So that's coming. Staff car. Uh, so that's from our great partners at Ryefield. And moving on to another one of our fantastic partners is Tacom. Uh, Tacom comes out with great, great releases, like two every month. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's hard to keep up with all the great stuff they're coming out with. Uh, they also, again, have a full interior Panther, as you see up here. Uh, this was made uh, by uh, world famous modeler Charlie Pritchett. And uh, we've got it on loan from him to use at our shows. Uh, the uh, prototype or early version of the Porsche turreted Tiger II there. Ooh. Uh, this is the Soviet SMK that was just released recently. That yep. One great. of our staff at uh, Mr. Tskata at uh, Beaver Corporation built oh, that one. Built? Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, so that's Full very nice. And everything. Yeah. They got some fries in the back there. Yeah, coming coming down a bit, we got yet even more Panthers. These are two brand new releases that uh, haven't even landed yet. Uh, this is a, a, the D version, and this comes with clear parts, and, one, and they are really, really clear. And even the detail has been simplified. 
to, to not obscure the clarity Ooh, okay. of the parts. Uh, so yeah, that's awesome. So you can see all that hard work you put into it without uh, without having it uh, obscured by the regular parts or the cutaway parts the like cutaway. that. Yeah, yeah, you've got two different options, kind of. Yeah, now this is another D version, and uh, this one uh, the, has the, the waffle pattern zimmer, I think is what it's called. So it's another cool one. No interior for this one. Uh, so the price is uh, not quite as high. Oop, and I just dropped the machine gun off of it. Oh, no. Which I think was, where did it go? I'll find oh, yeah. it later. Here it is. Yep. We'll do that little guy on later. I think it was just sitting there. Uh, oh, I built this one. This is the M3A1, the Cast Hull Lee. I think this is uh, just came into stock. You guys can, can be getting those. Boy, these Takam kits are just a breeze to build. If you're used to, like, Tamiya quality of uh, assembly mm -hmm. and clean parts, uh, Takom is right up there with right. them. So this, the, uh, the I, I Chinese that, like, manufacturers have really stepped yeah. up their game in the last few years, and they're really easy. I mean, I did that V2 rocket for the BBB yeah, a couple right. of years you did. ago, you and did. that thing just yeah, went That was together. like two nights. That was just two nights at the bench, and right. obviously it, I didn't finish painting it, but beautiful. Now let's talk about our partner's Model Collect. As you can see, we got a... We got a very huge tank here. This is this is 172 yes. scale. This is the Arate. The, I have uh, been dying to build this one. We got one. It's just monstrously large. Oh well, we got a little one over here. I forgot to mention uh, the taco. That's, that's an older release, but since we had this out here, we, we thought we'd go we for would, 172. I love 172 scale, so this isn't like my favorite scale too. So, I mean, yeah. it's kind of interesting. If, if you look at this tank, this is 172 scale, and that bomber below it. This is also 172nd so scale. So these are the same scale, just to show how massively large yeah, that yeah. tank would have been if they built it. This is just a paper Panzer project. Mm. They never actually built it, but yep. you know Hitler, he had he crazy approved ideas. a lot of crazy ideas. They crazy weren't necessarily ideas. his ideas, but he just loved big stuff. Yeah. Now, I think we showed that off at the Shizuoka Hobby Show last time, but right. brand new stuff down here. This kit was just been just released. This is the V-52G mm -hmm. Strato Fortress. It's on sale now. 12. Right. 12,500 yen, a bargain at twice the price. And this is the G, and I think they're giving us the D soon too, aren't they? The D, yeah, we got posters everywhere. There's the D, the much awaited D. Oh, okay, yeah, they got a thing for the D at the bottom. It's coming, and we got some other variants of it. We got a G early, an H early. Um, the, G, the, G, well, the G is this one right here. Um, and the H is the one that is uh, going to be coming in next. And the H is the one the Air Force currently flies. That's I what's believe. flying right now. That's right. That's right. And so these a, Gs are a bit older model. Yep. Yep. And there's another. Here, this is the uh, their first release of the B2A. And there's another release that's coming out uh, this month, actually. Uh, the B2A with the the MOP GBU 57 bomb. So that's all kinds bomb. of great stuff coming from Model Collect. So some great stuff coming from our partners at Kinetic with their new Kinetic Gold series. They've Ooh. really uh, upped their game with the tooling. And some of their new kits are absolutely fantastic, and they've got that kinetic gold badge on gold, there to let right. you know. So does that mean the molding is made out of gold? Is that? Uh, I wonder. <laughs> I wonder. I have to ask Raymond about that. Uh, but the first one, first kit in that series is the this M36 Master, the the um, uh, what is it, advanced uh, fighter trainer here. Uh, this uh, just came in stock, so we're moving those now, and it's selling very well. The M36 Master. That looks awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. Now the kit next to it uh, has been out for a little while. That's the Harrier, the the trainer Harrier version, the two seater, uh, and that's selling very well. So we're happy with that. So great stuff coming from Kinetic and their new Kinetic Gold series. They got an F18 coming up next. Ooh, I think. Okay. It's going to have some parts in it like that. Now if you're into 1 700th ship modeling, and I, I know am. you are, yes. Uh, then uh, you have, I'm sure you know the name Kajika. They've had some uh, amazing kits come out. The Congo series oh, okay. of, uh, of the uh, Japanese cruisers here. And um, we don't have a new cruiser kit, but we got the Hie and the Congo. They did, they also did, uh, what are the other two? Hie, Congo, yeah, Congo. Uh, and Kirishima? the other, Kirishima, Kirishima, and there's one, Haruna. Haruna, Haruna. Right. okay, we got them. Uh, but what is new, the, those kits have been out for a while, but what is new is this 1700 uh, series of aircraft. Yeah, this is interesting. I mean, these aren't catapult-launched aircraft, so why are they I wonder. coming out with these? You have to get. You have to wonder why. Why are they developing these? These are carrier-based aircraft, aircraft, right? right? Yeah. Yep. So well, I haven't heard anything. Kind of okay. Got, I have no beans to spill about that. But, okay. Well, they uh, got the aircraft ready. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can use them with other kits for now. This looks nice. I really like that folding wing, folding wing one too. And this is all injection molded plastic. Yep. No photo etched parts no, on these aircraft. No. So, so that tiny. That is quite, de quite great. Kajika does a really great job on their molding. Yep. And they helpfully put uh, some uh, magnifying glasses on top so yeah. you can actually see them. In 700 uh, scale, it's really hard to see sometimes. Yes, particularly if you're getting old like me. The big news for the show uh, from Flyhawk is, yeah, the Bismarck. Now, this is Flyhawk, another Chinese company that uh, focuses on 1700 scale ship kits. And we've got some uh, 
a built-up and some parts layouts for the Bismarck kits here. Chok, chok, uh, we got the Bismarck is the huge news there. This is this is uh, what we call the kit Teban. This is the definitive version uh, of the Bismarck kit, the hey. 1700 scale. So it's just, oh, just awesome. Uh, and some of their other great uh, kits from the past year, their 177 scale, uh, 172nd scale tank kits are phenomenal. Right, you gotta love that one. So it's, I mean, it's even more fun when you look at these tiny little things and imagine that is the same scale as that giant rat oh, that, that we saw. Yeah, yeah, over there. So yeah, big news from Flyhawk is uh, the Bismarck, and uh, that'll be coming out in a month or two, I think. Looks great. Yeah, we're taking orders for it now. Available at Hobby Link in Japan. Yeah, and speaking of ships, and speaking of Todd. Hey, this looks familiar. This is from our partners, Very Fire, a, a relatively new company, well, very new yeah. company. Very Fire, very new. And uh, they've been coming out with some awesome, awesome 1 350th and 1 700th kits. Uh, and this is Todd's build of the? And this is the Montana. So actually, if you guys watch, have been watching Gunplay TV for a long time, you saw last year I did the one Montana in 1 700th scale. Right. I, I brought it on this show. I also built that for one of these hobby shows. Yep. Now Verify is bringing us the Montana in the massive 1 350th scale kit. And Brian was kind enough to let me build it for the show. Thank you very much. Thank you. But yeah, you. this is quite monstrous. I mean, the Montana was... This is the largest U.S. battleship they ever designed. They never actually built this ship, right. but they designed it. So this is like the last one they ever ordered it. So right, right. it's kind of, I mean, some people maybe, maybe don't like it, kids that have stuff that didn't ever actually go into production, but I just like, you never really got to see these in production. So it's fun to see like what it would have looked like. Sure. Too bad we don't have an Iowa class here, but what, Iowa class is about yeah, this long? It was long? just a tiny bit, actually just a little bit shorter. It was yeah. a lot more narrower. Uh, so that, beefy for all these. So the, the Iowa could actually fit through the Panam Panama Canal. This thing would have no chance. The new docks, sure, that they right. just built recently, but the old World War II era Panama docks, the Montana would have never made it through. Well, what's the main difference? You got four turrets instead of three, right? You got yeah, two in the so back. Yeah, so on the Montana, you got the four turrets. This is actually the same 16-inch guns as the Iowa class, but you got four turrets now, and then you also have the larger secondary, although oh, right. yeah, these are the secondary guns are quite a bit larger than the other mm. ones. I, f I forget what the caliber is on those guns off the top of my head. Somebody in the comments may remember. Right. But yeah, that was pretty good. This is coming out this month, available at Hobby in Japan for 19,800 yen. That is a bargain as well. Uh, now moving up, well, Todd built this, but I built this. This is a 1-6 scale Utah Raptor from our partners at Masterpiece Models. Uh, one, of, one of the few companies we import from the U.S. So it's is nice. it actually yeah. made in Utah? Made in, uh, uh, <laughs> it's in Utah I don't think it's Utah. Well, the original one was found there, I suppose. Uh, so this is uh, it's an amazing it's a resin kit with came in nine pieces uh, okay. and uh, the pieces fit together beautifully I didn't have to do much at all to it uh, although if I took a little more time uh, I'm not I'm not that much of a master figure modeler but uh, it was easy to, to fill the seams it looks good to me yeah, yeah, I, I can't really notice it. the seams actually looking here I was happy with it but the, just the detail you and painted the eye by hand yeah yeah it's just all it's all brush all brush painted uh, I used a can can and airbrush on the base color and the stripe, but I would have screwed up that eye. Uh, yeah, I thought I would, but I just you know just clinched and painted and got it better done. <laughs> don't want to know what muscles you clinched uh, when you were painting that one. <laughs> don't need that. <laughs> but anyway, this is a uh, it's on sale now from uh, Masterpiece. You can also get it on HLJ. Uh, it's a bit pricey, but resin kits generally are, and it's worth every bit of it. It was a, a breeze to build. Now we got some huge news. Yeah. From our partners at Wingnut Wings. This Wing is literally huge. This is literally huge. We saw the HK Models Lancaster, uh, which is going to be on sale in a month or two, probably next month. Wingnut Wings just four or five days ago sent me. Here's our here's here's our new news, and it is a 132nd Lancaster. Wow. Another Lancaster. This one's different though. This one's going to be a dam buster version. Okay. Uh, which, if you guys know about Wingnut Wings, you know it's a it's a Peter Jackson company. Right. Peter Jackson also working on a movie for the Dam Busters, where apparently he built uh, eleven full size Lancasters for the movie. Uh, but yeah, so I don't know if the, this is probably you know they they love Lancasters. Right. I, I mean, well, th for me this is fascinating because Wingnut Wings has always been World, World War One, World War One, World, 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 World War One. Now. World War Two. Does and then this open out of the, the blue, door? Uh, well, I asked them, and they said, "We well, yeah, anything's possible." And um, you never know. Okay. Wingnut Wings always tells me when I say, "Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that?" Uh, never say never is their is their thing. Well, they do a so, fantastic job on their kit, yeah. so that's going to be really interesting yeah. to see. So we're looking forward to that at the end of 2019. Uh, we don't we have, we have no idea of pricing or anything like that. One thing I can mention about it, they've got the thing laid out here. Obviously, it'll have all four Merlin 28 engines. Uh, it's got the upkeep mine, all beautiful there. Uh, interior detail. I mean, it's just going to be awesome. 
Uh, and you, you can't really see here, but one thing they're telling me that they're really working on is the stressed skin effect. Ooh. Which has not appeared in any model in any scale anywhere. Right, uh, that's something you kind of have to customly do yourself. Yeah, yeah. Attention. Now the stressed skin is obviously aircraft are built of spars and right. all the, the, the framework. And then they put the sheet metal or aluminum skin on top of that. Uh, but invariably, you're going to have indentations and ripples and all that. Yeah. And uh, they're really going for that. And you can see it a little bit in this image. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to seeing that. And if anyone can pull it off, it's wing not wings. Okay, if you guys want this, probably need to start saving. Saving now. We start have no idea on the pricing, now, but we, uh, wing not wings kits are, are not cheap. Right, uh, and but this is going to be a big, big boy. aircraft, but super high quality. Now, we got another new release news here. Now, we showed this off at the Shizuoka Hobby Show, and actually uh, Richard, Richard Alexander signed it for me, so that's, <laughs> that's his signature there. Uh, but we wanted to display it at this show too. It hasn't been released yet, it's coming soon. This is the Halberstadt uh, CL2, the early version, uh, which was already announced. This version was not announced. This is uh, another Kaijo Hapyo announcement at the show here. This is the late version, same aircraft, late version. Uh, apparently there are some differences uh, in the cockpit layout and things like that. Um, so yeah, we were really excited about this huge, literally huge news. Uh, from Winged Out Wings. We got this guy coming out soon and this guy coming out at the end of uh, next year. This is going to be amazing. Mm. Yeah. Now Beaver Corporation, we focus mainly on importing uh, non-Japanese kits into the right. Japanese market for sale, but we also dabble in a little domestic wholesaling as well. Uh, partners that we know, friends that we know just from being in the industry, and this is one of them. This is a new company called Peace. It's a Japanese company and uh, they're starting off their line of these Alice in Wonderland kind of, kind of cyberpunk Alice yeah, in that Wonderland, because really uh, they got all these gears and stuff. Uh, Alice in Wonderland card soldier, or in Japanese, it's called the T Trump Hey. Yeah, Trump, Trump is a, a deck of cards. It's called it's called Trump in Japanese. Not the, not the president. Not the president. <laughs> not the daitorio. Yeah, but uh, so their first, the first product is this, and it's the kit here. As you see, the sprues laid out here. It's an right. assembly plastic kit. Uh, I believe glue is needed. Is glue yeah. needed? You said it. Glue, is, uh, glue, yep, glue, glue is, is needed. needed. So you won't be able to snap it, even no, though it no, is molded no. in gold color. But so. it's you know it's a very it's obviously based on the the Lewis Carroll story, um, Alice in Wonderland, and all that. Now what we're looking at right now, these are this is a series of cold cast, fully painted, finished products that are going to be coming out uh, one after the other. All the different characters. This is oh, wow, that's there's, so there's cool. Alice. Yeah. She looks ready for action. There, got the, the Mad Hatter over there with a really mad hat. Poor mouse, white rabbit. They don't have anything out here, but there's a Cheshire cat, Cheshire, hey. Cheshire, 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 Cheshire cat. Uh, what would be the as well. proper English way to say it, though? Cheshire, 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 Cheshire. the Cheshire cat. The Cheshire cat. Uh, so yeah, we're excited to carry this, and they're selling very well. Uh, and again, this is a domestic Japanese product that we're actually uh, handling the domestic distribution of here in Japan. Okay, we got a big surprise here because this is the first time I've seen this. And I was out do, uh, shooting other videos and came back and our partners at Amusing Hobby brought some new samples. And I'm stunned. I knew about the, the Ferdinand. Uh, the Ferdinand's been announced for a little while coming and that's awesome. Yeah. And also these, uh, I forget what these are called, Waffenfragas or whatever. We got a poster. Uh, Don't look like, like a it. 128 or 88 millimeter. I'm not sure what they are. We got no information out here. Again, I just walked up and saw these things here. Yeah, I like uh, that Ferdinand. But these are these are. Um, oh, geez, I haven't seen this either. A Hori two. This is all. My, I'm laying eyes on this for the Ooh, first time. The as you're five. seeing it, open. This is like uh, Geraldo opening the Titanic vault, except there's <laughs> actually stuff here. Uh, this is amazing stuff here. And this, this is the 16 ton Strabo Kran, which is what street street crane, a street gantry crane. Uh, which I forgot to mention over there, but our, our partners at Takom have also just announced that too. So we're going to have a, a, just a, a veritable cornucopia of Strabokrans hitting the market suddenly. So yeah, this is all exciting because literally I have not seen this until just this moment when I turned around and went, look it's at there. this golf. Look at that. That is awesome. So crazy with the detail on there. Uh, you guys are going to have to Google the rest of this stuff because I'm not really, Waffentrager, is that what that's called? Yeah, she got me. Leave it in the comments and I'm sure you will. <laughs> to tell me what those are. Oh, our buddies at Wolfpack, this is uh, one of our good partners from Korea. And uh, what we have here is their version of, this is the Academy, Academy MH-53E Sea Dragon uh, in uh, Kaijo Jietai, the Japanese Marine Self-Defense Force minesweeper uh, livery here. There, That's a lot of blades. And this, this is 148 scale, but look how massive this that guy is. is. This is awesomely huge. Uh, it comes with special decals for the Jietai, Kaijo Jietai. And uh, that is an awesome kit. 
and some parts too, but I don't, I don't see we, we don't have a breakdown. I think it includes some extra uh, Wolfpack design parts too to make this particular version. Uh, and also another one here is also the Academy MiG-21. This making an MF-75 Lancer C, Rum Romanian Air Force Ooh. version. Uh, so that's coming out too. And we don't know it's coming out soon, and we don't know the price yet. Uh, the big dog MH-53 is going to be 13,000 uh, 13, yen, and that's coming out next month. So that's Groove there. Okay, speaking of Groove, I'm going to keep my groove on, and we're just going to come up here and look at some stuff from our partners from first. We'll talk about Gecko. They've got some more in their cruiser tank series. Now, we don't have a built sample, but we do have a pile of sprues laid out here, as you can see in this nice gray plastic. Uh, single, or, yeah, single link tracks there that you can build. And that is awesome. Cruiser tanks, British. And we're going to continue talking about our friends from Freedom, Freedom Model Kits. Freedom. Uh, they've, they've, hey, why is all this stuff like this? Yeah, let's straighten that out here. Oh. Straighten that out here. Uh, but yeah, they've, they've jumped into the Cute Plane series here, continuing thing here. We got an F5 series and an F104 series. Um, this one's particularly popular in Japan, the F104J. Now, these snap together? Um, I believe so. I believe they are. Uh, and they come with a pile of kits. This one kit will have three. Oh. Three oh, wow. full kits in it. This one will have three. The three different versions. This is the fighter, the, the recon, and the two-seater trainer. Oh, so they're all different, too. So you're not yeah, just yeah, getting yeah. three of the same. No, 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 yeah. So this is fighter, recon, trainer, fighter, recon, trainer. Oh. And these are the uh, indigenous Taiwanese Air Force ones. Uh, uh, and uh, we don't have, well, the, the plastic's probably very similar. And uh, the Japanese version and the U.S. Air Force version. Uh, we got an empty shelf here because we were hoping we would get more samples from our buddies at Hmong. Uh, this is their big new uh, announcement. Unfortunately, we didn't have any parts or anything. So have, how do you pronounce that? Magach. 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 It's funny, in Japanese it's pronounced Magaf. Magaf? It's got a hu at the end, so Magaf. Magaf. Close enough. Yeah. Uh, hard to do a h in Japanese, <laughs> I guess. Uh, I got some more things over here. Like that. It's going to come with this cool uh, track maker helper devicey thingy. Where you can like sandwich the the individual links together and then you put in the the side pins to make a totally workable track links there or track set there so that's some big news and that's uh, again the magach is based on the m60 right i think the us m60 israelis uh got some in the past and uh as israelis do they turned it into a futuristic sci-fi armored weapon mm. uh, but that's pretty cool and more Hmong stuff down here i think the only really big new thing here is uh, oh we got more cute tank series this is uh, the m5 stewart oh, these are cool and these actually do snap together these do snap like together. a gundam yeah kit. yeah we should get these on gunpla tv at some point yeah yeah these are great uh the selling like hotcakes too people love the little cute yeah they tanks. got the fancy color ones too there's a new fancy color version yeah, coming yeah. in christmas we got the santa and it's going to come with a santa figure apparently i don't oh, think it's, it's gonna, coming with a figure this time? i don't yeah i don't think it's going to come with the the reindeer but i well, well don't hold me to that we'll have to check because we again this is just information they sent us i think literally as we were walking out the door so yeah. we don't know when that's coming out either. <coughs> i hope well, before I, christmas, I, I hope before christmas. <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah that'd be sad if it's a march release <laughs> Yeah, and uh, in the other more more right. in, uh, realistic scale modeling, uh, we have the Berg, Berg Panther, which just came out, and this also has a, a, a full interior and all that. Look at that cool so, glue tool behind it. Yeah, so all kinds of stuff there. So we've got the uh, the continued adventures of the AMK uh, F-14. We uh, release is imminent. Uh, we've heard uh, talking to the, the boss over there. Uh, it's going to be a fantastic, fantastic kit in 148. I think we might have showed these parts yeah, at the Shizuoka time, yeah. show, but okay. we've uh, got those again here, and we're really looking forward to that one coming out. Um, I'm going to show you this just because I built this too. <laughs> we've got the, the Mark I Limited series of Zeppelins. Now, this is the this are, these three are here are World War One era uh, battle Zeppelins, I guess you would call them. It's a, a, a P class. Um, this one's a Q class. It's just a P and Q because you can build either one from this kit. Uh, and the one I just built for the show is the R-Class Super Zeppelin. Mm -hmm. yeah, as you can see, it's much bigger than the early ones. These and, are 1720 um, scale. Yeah, 1720 Almost scale. Almost 1700, but yeah, well, they, uh, The reasoning is that they wanted to match it up with the 1720 of Hindenburg that uh, Rebel had out. Okay. And uh, these are all military Zeppelins, but uh, we still go ahead. I think uh, we've shown this a couple times, and that's the, the continuation of the Zeppelin development. This was the civil use Graf Zeppelin. Um, in 1720th. I wonder if they're going to do a Hindenburg eventually. I mean, the Ravel one's Well, mine, so I mean, if there, there's nice a reason they matched it that yeah. scale, just to be matching with the yeah. Hindenburg. So if you love Zeppelins like I do, Mark I is your company. 
Got another great little item to show you here. Um, this is actually a beaver cooperation item that uh, our, our, the beaver logo is going to be on. Uh, the kit. This is actually a manga that's based on what I'm going to talk to you about here. It's, a, it's an S-51 helicopter. It's a Korsky S-51. Uh, that has, uh, the plastic is by a company called AMP, which is a subsidiary of uh, Micromir, which we carry a lot of kits of. Uh, it's been released in, I think, three versions up until now. Uh, but our staff, Lance, uh, got to thinking and talking with some of the manufacturers. Uh, why don't we make a, a, a GATI version, like we talked about that other big helicopter, the Kaijo GATI, the uh, Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force. Let's make a Maritime Self-Defense Force version, because we also have another great partner called Rising Decals. Oh. And so we talked to them and talked to AMP and said, well, let's make a GATI version and got rising de uh, decals to make the GATI decals for us. Uh, we talked to a lot of people. And also while we're doing that, we ran into a guy who actually created a manga about this exact helicopter. That is awesome. It is awesome. So uh, he was like the go-to guy. We're finding out he had all kinds of data for it. We even talked directly with the self-defense force because there were a lot of questions and getting a lot of questions about the fonts. Mm. For these things here, because they're not they're, they were stencils, right. so they were not like regular typewriter fonts or anything. You know, they had uh, breaks in the lines and all that kind of stuff. So we did a lot of extensive research to try to get the the, the stencil type thing and the colors uh, for the things on the tail rotors and things like that. Try to get it as accurate as possible. Uh, and so this is uh, again a, a Beaver collaboration sponsored item um, coming, we, we hope, oh, in December for 5900 yen, available at Hobby Link Japan. Soon, yeah. All right, folks, well, thank you for watching us here on Hobby, uh, Hobby Link TV. That's right, Hobby uh, Link TV for yeah. our All Japan Hobby Model and Hobby Show coverage for 2018. That's right, Beaver Corporation and Hobby Link Japan. And Hobby Link Japan. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and stay tuned for more stuff on HobbyLink.tv. We'll see you later.